Sing it out, yeah. Oh, yeah. And today you're welcome to Set Your Craft Channel. I'm Dr. Set Pro. In case you're new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell so that we be notified of our latest videos. What are we going to be doing today? So, a few minutes, we want to achieve various neckline, the butt neckline, scoop neckline, lopsided neckline, long neckline, and as many necklines as you can talk to. Say, oh, I mean, they're as easy as A and B and C. And have you tried Tom's Brown Pudding? It's very good for children that are living breast milk. And also, don't forget to order for Sexual New Oil. It's going to help you cure brightness and also what? Prevents hair loss. Okay, let's get to the cognitive. Catch it. So, right now, for the various necklines, we, I just want to give a list of necklines to be considering. We have the round neckline, the V neckline, we have the cano or boat neckline, we have the lopsided neckline, we have the scoop neckline, we have the square neckline, the sweetheart neckline, we have, uh, which neckline again? The altar neckline. So, these necklines are so easy. So, I'll be dramatizing with this paper. It's same with your fabric. You just fold this with you for each of the necklines, except for one that I'm going to tell you about. So this is my center front. Folds like so on your fabric or whatever you're using. So you can, for the basic neckline, let's start with the basic. That's the round neckline. The standard, you know you have the neckline width and the neckline depth. The, for the round neckline, let me just start. You start by taking the shoulder. Let me say the shoulder for this is seven and a half inches. So what do you do next? Oh. You now come down, let's say, just please, if you don't know how to achieve your arm hole, just try to achieve your arm hole. We're not achieving arm hole in this course. For each of these, I'll not just be achieving any arm hole, I'll just be achieving the arm hole slant. So, the basic width and depth for the round neckline is what? Three by three. Three inches width, width by three inches depth. So, once you have your Tools, it becomes so easy. This pattern master, with this, you just cut out. This is your round neckline, and you do your shoulder slope when you come to the shoulder point, like so. You come down by one inch, so you just connect this to the neckline, like so. Please, in case you don't know how to achieve your hand hole, I have a video to that effect. I'll put it that's the basic body pattern. It's so easy, so you can see the round neckline. Just as easy as A and B and C. I cut out this before we go to the more complex one. And there are no hard and fast rules. If your neck is big, this might not be okay for you. So you just go by four inches width, four inches depth. And there are nothing, there is nothing so hard. Just draw a pattern paper to cut out this and fix on your neck or whatever neckline you want to use for your customer. By the time you have that, it becomes so easy. I tell most of my students, Cut out your necklines on your pattern papers and have your necklines cut out because necklines are so important. They determine the shape of your dresses. So if the neckline, if there is a flaw with the necklines, the shape of the dress is not going to be nice. So please, always note. So this is the round neckline. I'll just stop this way. This is the round neckline. Can you see? This is a round neck line. So we're done with this. It's as easy as A and B and C. Round neck. Then we go to the V neck. V neck, we start again. What determines? It all depends on how deep and how wide you want the neckline to be for your V neck line. So you could also still use your three inches width. You could use your three inches width and use a wider depth. Or you could use four inches width. Please, you always cut. Can you see the mistake I was making there? You cut your neckline from your center front. Your center front is this folded part, please. I know the professionals know that, but for beginners. So, you could use four inches of uh, uh, width. Let me do that. There are no hard and fast. You just get your neckline by five inches uh, depth. It all depends on how deep you want the neckline to be. So, can you see? So you just connect it to ruler like so. So you have your V-neck, just like so. And remember, if your shoulder, remember you should always take your shoulder so that you have the shoulder slant. Let's use seven and a half for the course of this class. 
So we just do that. Remember, I told you that if you don't know how to achieve your shoulder, uh, your arm hold and the legs, please, the video is here. It's so sorry. That's not what we're considering today. So that we don't get distracted. So you always calm down by your shoulder slope. For some persons, it may be one and a half if their hand is so slanty. Their shape is so slanty, I mean. So you just have it like so. You slant your shoulder. So this is your V-neck. It could be wider, it could be deeper, it could go up, it, it all depends. So that's why you have to get the shape of the neckline that suits you. So this is your V neckline, just like so. So we have this, this is your V neckline. V neckline. V neck. So after this, what's the next on the item? Cano neck or boat neckline. I love this neckline. And mind you, do you know that for each dress, you could have a round neckline in front, then you have a V-neck at the back. You could have a cano neck in front and have a V-neck at the back. So what is just compulsory is that the width of the neckline should be the same. So then whatever you are achieving, you could achieve a scoop neckline at the back, a V-neck in front, just the dimension as in, uh, be creative, be innovative. So in, that's what fashion is all about. So for a cane neck, let's take our shoulder measurements. Shoulder measurements. Let's say our shoulder measurements is seven and a half steel that we're using. Whatever is your shoulder measurement, remember that your shoulder is always divided by two. I'm saying all this because of the beginners. So professionals, please, let's do with them. So you just you take, like you're taking your know, what's it called? Like you. Yes. So for uh, Kelo or boat neckline, do you know the shape of boats? The width is always very wide and the depth is always very small. So that's what forms the Kelo. And nowadays we have people that love um, deeper Kelo neck and yet the width will be very wide. So it all depends on your preference or the preference of your clients or your customer. So what you just do basically is you go away two inches from the uh shoulder line you could go away one and a half inch just like for somebody like me uh, i can use five inches width five inches width or five and a half inches width it all depends five inches width or five and a half inches width by two inches depth or you could use one and a half but max that you can use is three inches depth for a canon fine so you could use one and a half it's really be okay on the neck as in just that's the cane neck on for you so and you could use this two inches just away you see that's why i said you could use two inches away from the neckline and you could use this so i'm going to cut either for you let me just also go two inches away from the neckline that makes it wider so it could be this or you could just use two and a half inches away like you like it it's your preference so from this right now, I'll just connect. Can you see? With this, it becomes very easy. So you come down by one inch for the shoulder slope. So this is your Kenyan neckline. Let me still draw another one. Let me draw the one of five inches by three inches width. But let me not confuse you. Anyhow you want it, let me just cut this. So there are no hard and fast screw to it. So you know that this is your cane neckline. I just hope you understand. In case you have any questions, please don't forget to leave your questions in the comment section below. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if it has been beneficial to you. And if you're not yet subscribed, please subscribe to this channel. So, I see. This is the Kenyan neckline. Like, it's a boat. So, people usually call it boat. Boat neck. Or Kenyan neck. So, that's it. Okay. So, the next neck on the scale is what? Let me say, a scoop neck. A scoop neck. A scoop neck is similar to a round neck, but it's a deep round neck. It's really deep, like a U shape. Can you see? 
I'll, I'll just show you the scoop neck. It's like a U shape, and it all depends. You could make it as if it's a cano, then deep, but it's a deep round neck. So we just still use our. I hope you're getting everything. So we just still use our normal uh, shoulder measurements, seven and a half inches. Then you choose your neckline width. You could use five by five. It's it's actually always low. Actually, always very, very uh what's it called? I could use four and a half by four and a half. There are no other fast food to eat. But what I'm trying to say is that it's always very, it's only very, very deep. So I just use this mic to, to do the curve. Let me just try. Never mind. Because if you use that pattern master, let me show you what I'm pattern master here is straight. So by the time you put it, it's not going to give you a curved, curved effect. So it's going to be straight and it's not going to be looking, it's not going to be looking like you like it. I don't know how to tell you, but I know what I'm saying. This is the scoop neckline. Can you see what I was trying to show you? I was not using that pattern. It's going to be somehow straight. So this is the scoop neckline, a very deep uh, round neckline, scoop neck. So it's always very deep. You could make it six inches. Some, some person showed their cleavage. I don't like that. So I made mine like five depths at most. So that's scoop neck. So what's the next neckline now? The next neckline is the square neckline. Square neckline. Oh, let me just with that here. For the square neckline, you know, you are going to use same dimensions. If you want to use three, use three width by three inches depth. If you want to use five inches, or so whatever. So let's just go by maybe the standard three inches width by three inches depth. Then we get our shoulder measurements. Whatever is your shoulder, you impute it into it. Yes. So by three inches depth. So, so easy, as easy as we can do it. So, we just rule out our dimensions just like a square, like the name implies. Square. But you have to be sure, you know, this is the same three inch. So, that doesn't give a point shape. So, on your shoulder, you come down by uh, our imaginary shoulder line. Let me try it. So, you come down by one inch as usual. You do your shoulder slope. And you cut out the square neckline. Remember, if you want it wider, all you do is just increase the dimensions to maybe. Uh, four inches width by four inches depth, five inches width by five inches depth. It's all optional. There are no hard and fast rules to that. So, this is, you have to be very careful for squares, rectangles, and both. And in case you want me to do a video on how to uh, cut the facing and sew the facing of each of these square lines, of each of these uh, necklines, please. Please eat in the comment section below and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you want me to do the what the facing and the stitching of the facing of this various neckline. Please just comment in the comment section below and then give it thumbs up. Yeah, thank you. And if you are yet to subscribe to the Toka channel, please do right away. Press the notification bell so that you'll be notified of our latest videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the other one we're doing right now is the sweet heart neck. Sweet heart neck. Sweetie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we just can take our shoulder measurements normally. Seven and a half. Whatever is your shoulder measurement or your front shoulder measurement, you include it. So with the width you want to be using, you're going to de determine that. You could use four inches width. It all depends on you. 
and the depths you could use swag in case whatever depths and width you want to use the majorly optional so you come here you come down a bit or you could just do as if it's a slant like a bit or straight like a bit however you want it sweet that neck it's all so then you, you now do the sweet that like so Can you see that? So some person will make their dimensional of this. It all depends. It's optional. So let's do our imaginary shoulder line. So you do your shoulder. Please get to know how to achieve various angles for the various points. Just watch my video on the basic body pattern. And you know how to do that. So, this is your sweet technique. It all depends. Some persons will make you really curvy. Some will come from here to really be curvy. It all depends. There are no hard and fast truths. It's how you like it. It's yours. So, do it the way you like it. So, right now, for the alternate, it's so, so easy. Uh, you know, you're just going to use rope, maybe at the back or the side. So, and it's always curvy on the neck, just like close to the neck. So for that, you could use two inches width by two inches depth, or you could use two and a half inches by two and a half inches depth. And if you're on the big side, you could use three inches width and three and a half, three inches depth. It all depends. So like me, I'm a moderate person. Two inches, two and a half inches width by two and a half inches depth. It's a good to go dimension. So, what do you need? You don't actually need the shoulder because it will not be really get to the shoulder. It's not, it's alternating. There is no shoulder there. But let me just take like, let me just assume imaginary that this is my chest line. Let me say my chest line is eight inches. Eight inches here, you have it. So, just to, you alter it, you curve it just like this to this point. So, if you have any curve tool that can really do it, or you just like, can you see what I'm just trying to do? Too? So, you just like curve it like so, like to your chest line. Can you see? So, your alternate is just as easy as A and B and C as this. Then the last neckline is discovered by Joker Central of Central Fashion Super. So I want to teach you. This is the only neckline you don't cut on fold. So like I said, this is the only neckline you don't cut on fold. This is the only neckline you don't cut on fold. So like I said, this neckline, I call it the lopsided neckline. You don't cut it on fold. If you cut it on fold, you're not going to come out with what you want. So it's always cut. The uh, front bodies is always cut. Just... The front panel is always cut. On a so this long sided neckline, if you cut it on fold, it will give you another neckline. So you see it on some designs, you see it when I do it now. So what you just do is that you put your fabric on fold like so, to get your center front. This is your center front. I'm going to indicate this center front with this mark. Please, can you see this? So this is your center front. So by the time you open it, you know that this is your center front. So knowing that this is your center front, if you want to achieve 8 inches width of the neckline, you just place it like this. You place half of the width on the center front. Can you see the mark for the center front? You place half of it, that's 4 on it. So that gives you the uh, know about that this is the origin and this is the end point, this 8 inches. So if you want to use depth, 5 inches. So 5 inches. So I come this way. I'll just make the depth, rule out the depth. Then you curve it. You somehow curve it, I don't you know. Yeah. So, we'll try to use this 
or you could use your hand. Can you see? So this is, then you do your shoulder slope. You come down by one inch. Come down by one inch. If you cut this on fold, it's not going to give you this shape. So that's why I think that this is the only neckline you cut on an open end of the form. If you cut it on fold, it's going to come out another way entirely different from this. So if you want it this way, this is how it's going to be. So can you see this? So this is the lopsidedness. It points to one side. So you just cut out the shoulder points like so. So can you see? So if you just pull, you can also pull. So this is your what? This is your lock sided neck by central fashion school. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I named it never mind you so this just I know you must have been seeing this neckline so that's just what I named it and this is how to achieve it it's as easy as A and B and C yeah with this we've come to the end of today's uh, tutorial in case this video has been beneficial to you please don't forget to give your girl a thumbs up and like I said while in the course of the class if you want me to teach you uh, if you want me to show you how to do the various facings and the uh, stitching of the various pieces, please comment in the comment section below and, and don't forget that our Bonanza, New Year Bonanza is still hot at Central Fashion School. You get half the price for your course. Grab it, it's just some days to go. Grab the, the offer while it lasts right now. And have you listened to my musical single? If you have not listened to it, um, uh, don't let me fight you too. Only fighting. Go and listen to it. It's on my other channel, Searchers World. Yes, it's praise that one. The title of that musical single, get, get, get. So listen to it and also don't forget to order for your Ankaras. They are really, really nice. So I come your way next time and see you in the next video. I remain Joke Central. Love you. Don't forget to keep to your new year words, your new year plans, not just resolution. Catch you. Love you. Keep on smiling. Yeah. You might want to watch this video or that to be beneficial to you.